grace of the Lord, Lord has made, and, has made, and we, we will rejoice and be glad in it. Oh, we, today we're going to talk about the wonderful life in Christ. Amen. About, you know, these health benefits, you know, the health benefits in Christ Jesus. You, you can't, uh, we can't talk enough about it. This morning when I prepare, can you take up your juicy? When I prepare this uh, uh, smoothie, green smoothie, that uh, I drink regularly, my husband as mm. well, and it does bring healing to our bodies. Because Amen. there's healing in the name of Jesus, mm. but there's also healing if you eat right. Amen. If you eat wrong and you drink wrong, mm -hmm. then yes, then uh, you bring unhealthy things to your body when you eat and drink wrong. This is what I have personally uh, experienced and my husband. Mm -hmm. The doctor has given us go good report, uh, you know, we, the medical doctors. And uh, we just say thank you to the Lord for uh, looking after us. Our, Amen. Our dear Lord. To Jesus. To Jesus. All glory to Him. Amen. Amen. Amen to Jesus. Yeah. So, this, this is our lifestyle. We, uh, you know, eating lifestyle. And the Bible talks about it every day. I mean, we, uh, the Bible tells you, sorry, I didn't want to say every day. I wanted to say that the Bible tells you every word. Because the Word of God uh, gives life. Amen. Because Jesus is life. Amen. And uh, there's, there's power in the healing, you know, in power in your, in your tongue. As the Word of God teaches us in the book of James. If you speak negative things, then negative things is going to happen. Yes. But if you speak positive things about the Word of God, you know, the life of God, because Jesus is a life giver. Amen. No one can give life. Amen. And He's also the bread of life. Amen. As it says to us in the Word of God. And uh, uh, He's a living Word, as I said. Amen. He's a Word of life. Amen. And He's a bread of life. Amen. And uh, uh, this you will find all in the book of John. Amen. And Jesus is a healer. Amen. And also the balm of Gil mm. uh, Gilead. As it says in Jeremiah mm. 8 verse 22, mm. we're not going to turn to it, but you can go and look it up. Yes. And you can see for yourself. Mm. Uh, and on also, yes, Jesus is the tree of life through yes. Him. Life has come. Mm. Life has come and life ever, uh, everlasting. Amen. And the river of life, waters of mm. life, you know, and uh, the Word of God teaches us that the rivers of living waters mm. shall flow in our innermost being. Yes. You see, uh, uh, Jesus is the only one that can heal. Sometimes when the doctor comes mm. with results after examine you and he mm. says you've got this and that and that, um, you can you can go to a second opinion mm. and all that, but we know that we are living the healthy life Amen. by eating healthy Thank and you, also Jesus. living the healthy life with our Lord Jesus. Yes, Christ. no sickness, mm. no disease, no harm will befall mm. us. This is what the Word of God tells us daily. Thank you, and Jesus. we love Jesus. Yes. Because He loved us first. Thank you, Jesus. He loved us always and mm. He loved us first. Because the Word of God says that God so loved the world mm. the, the, and the, the nation in the world Amen. that He gave His only begotten Son that whoever believed in our Lord Jesus yes. Christ will never ever die but have eternal life. Yes. If your body die now, you go to the grave, yes. Mm. But your spirit a man, your inner man, your your spirit, your mind, and your mm. soul, that goes to heaven. Amen. Alleluia. It goes to heaven, and we know that when we die, mm. we go to heaven. Yes. But Thank the Lord has Jesus. promised us we will still remain here when He's mm. going to come. So He's coming is soon. Amen. Behold, as the Word of God says in uh, Revelation 1-7, yes. I am coming soon, Amen. Jesus said. Thank he you, said Jesus. that to, the, to John, the very mm -hmm. last disciple that lived, and uh, John was raptured up to heaven, and Jesus has shown him everything in heaven. Yes. He, you can go read it, read the whole book of Revelation from the from verse chapter 1 till chapter uh, mm. uh, 22. It Amen. tells you that blessed is he, blessed are those nations, and blessed mm. are you when you read the word of God. Amen. Whoever you are when you listen this morning. When you read the word of God mm. and you believe 
what the word of God says yeah. and Jesus will reveal it to you. Yes. The spirit of the, of the Lord will reveal it to mm. you as you read the word, yes. And uh, we are glad to be here with Bible truth and promises related to your wellness, to your mm. uh, uh, healing. Because there's many that come to us for prayer, especially me, a, a lot of women came to me uh, uh, that has cancer, that has HIV, that are, uh, uh, and that, and uh, mm. what was the other one as well? But anyhow, these are the people that mm. I, I, I pray for, mm. and then I tell them how they, what they should eat, mm. and uh, uh, some of them went through, they went through the radiation. Mm. The radiation didn't let the hair fall out, and they, they still got their full ears. Mm. And uh, this is how powerful the Lord is when you invite Him mm. into your life. And when you live for him daily. Amen. And as I said, there's benefits mm. in Jesus. Yes. When you serve him and know him and, and, and uh, mm. uh, live for him daily. Yes, Lord. Because he is the way, the truth, and the everlasting yes. life. Thank no you, one Jesus. can come to the Father except by him. Amen. And it says here, 1 Corinthians 6, 19 to uh, 20. Don't you realize that your body is a temple? Mm. Of, of the Holy Spirit yes. who lives in you Amen. and was given to you by God, our Father God, mm. through Jesus Christ. Amen. You do not belong to yourself, it says. Mm. Uh, verse 20, for God brought you, uh, bought you with a very high price. As yes. I, I, I said to you, go read it uh, mm. earlier on, that... Uh, um, that God so loved the world mm. and the, the nations in this world that He gave His only begotten Son, yes. that you ever please Amen. In, shall, you, uh, in Him shall never ever perish but, mm. uh, or die, that, but they will have eternal life yes. in Christ Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So you must honor God in your heart, in mm. your mind, and in your soul, and also be presentable mm. for Him in your body as well. By, Thank you, you, know, you Jesus. When, you, you mustn't, when, I say, uh, when the Word of God says here, yeah, so you must honor God with your body, mm. because it, uh, God was speaking about the body and, of the Holy Spirit, they want mm. to live in a clean yes. body. Because uh, it's, uh, it's only God that can clean your body. Amen. You know? And uh, this, this body, as we see, uh, the Word of God uh, teaches us, it is a tabernacle of God. God yes. tabernacles with us daily. He lives yes. within us daily. Thank you, Jesus. And uh, if you grieve the Holy Spirit, obviously the Holy Spirit can't. Uh, he leaves. If you, if you grieve the Holy Spirit. You cannot grieve the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. That my husband has learned, and myself as well through these years, when, when we grieve the Holy Spirit and that and thank God we uh, uh, we always go back we always mm. right, return and we say sorry we repent and then God makes you whole you know as it says here we're gonna we're gonna talk about the wholeness and our uh, responsibility here on earth mm. how uh, God want us to look after our yard. There's, there's our, our own son, like his uh, gym and his wife, mm. they jump together, they run together, mm. and that is so good to uh, uh, to do things together. My Amen. husband and I used to do it when we were very young, Amen. running together and all that, and jogging together on the beach. We live close, very close to the beach. And uh, uh, yeah, mm. and now we walk. We do the walk. It's pretty mm. walk on the beach. We love that. Mm. Amen. Amen. So I'm going to ask my husband just to read the word of God from uh, uh, the benefits of uh, when it tells us in uh, uh, Psalm 103. Psalm 103. Praise the Lord, my soul, all my inmost being. Praise His holy name. Praise the Lord, my soul, and for God. Forget not all his benefits, who forgive all your sins and heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with love and compassion, who satisfies your desires with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord works righteousness and justice for all the oppressed. He made known his ways to Moses his deeds to the people of Israel. We can just thank God that um, as David sang unto God, because he experienced these things as a young man, how he was chased by Saul, how he was persecuted, and then he says, praise the Lord, O my soul, remember all his benefits. You see, because 
He's not speaking about something that he's heard about. He's speaking about something that he has experienced. When he says, when he um, forgive all your sins and uh, use all your diseases. You know, David was a man that could turn to God when he fell in sin. Then he repented, he called out to God to give him a clean heart. And when he was down and out, when he was uh, in, the, in the field, in battle and all these kind of things, he's, he says, remember all his benefits because um, David experienced God's protection in his life against his enemies. Mm -hmm. he, he, he knew when, when, he turned, when, he turned from, uh, when he turned from God, God received him back and healed him, you know. And God took away all his unrighteousness. And we can see these benefits that God is speaking about here in, 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 in his word. Yes. It's even much more so for us who are his children. We have the benefit of the blood of the lamb. We have the benefit of, uh, uh, of, of the wounds, of the bruises, and of the chastisement of Christ. Where we can say he heals all our diseases. We have the benefit of knowing that He cleanses us. We have the benefit of knowing yes. that He will rescue us when we are in trouble. We can turn to Him. He made us righteous, as He says. He has made His uh, uh, um, made His uh, uh, ways known to Moses. Mm. He says He made way known to Moses His yes. deeds to the people of Israel. You see, when you are close to God, as Moses was. He could meet with God in a tent. He was the only one that could meet God face to face. Then God made known His ways to him. But the people of Israel only experienced the miracles, only experienced the things when they were in trouble that God came through. But, no, uh, but Moses had an inner relationship with God. So we have an inner relationship with yes. God through Christ Jesus because He has made us, He has reconciled us to back to God. He has reconciled us so that we can have the liberty to go into, into the presence of God by His grace. And we want to encourage you today, even as Evelyn has mentioned earlier about the right eating, the right yes. food and things like that. There are two types of food that we as children of God live on. It's the Word of God and also the yes. food and the fruit and mm -hmm. the vegetables that God has given us. Because He says we, we will live by every word that proceeds after the mouth of God. So even as Job said, he, see, he says that the word of God is more important than his daily food. But then God has blessed us with, thing, with abundance of harvest. He says he will look after us. He will renew our strength like the eagle, like the youth. Even at any age, we, uh, uh, yesterday we read, or the day before we read about how when Moses and Aaron went to to, to Pharaoh, Moses was 80 and Aaron was 83, but they were strong and they could go on for, for, another, for another 40 years in the desert even. Moses lived another 40 years. That is how God renewed his strength because he kept close to God. And so we just want to encourage you as we read this word that you stay close to God as we stay close to God. And God will, you, you, can't, you can't get younger. But the Word of God says you can have the strength of a, of a youth. You can have the strength of an ego. Amen. And that is what we are so experiencing today in this time and age where everything is against us. Everything is against you. The sickness and diseases. But yes, God protects us from it. And He, he, he renews our strength day by day. Amen. And we look forward every day just to tell you about the goodness of God, the goodness so of His Son, His faithfulness. And we, and we know that God will bless the word that we read to you and the words that has ever spoken to you about how, you, how she prayed for people. Mm. And it's not and stories, it's, yes. it's people, it's our friends, yes. it's, it's, it's people that you can contact. It's not stories that we so many times hear that you can't verify it. Yes. What we tell you, it can, you can go to the people, they are still alive today. Amen. And we thank That's God right. for, for His goodness, His yes. faithfulness, and His healing power. Amen. Amen. We are so Amen. glad yes. that we can share with you. I just want to say that God can renew your strength. Yes. Amen. It says here in Isaiah 40. Mm. Uh, I'm just going to read it to you. 29. He said He gives power 
to the weak. Amen. You know, you, uh, those that I have uh, prayed for and also counsel afterwards, I told him, if you weak, go into the presence of God. Amen. And God will strengthen you. And to Amen. those who have no might, he mm. increases strength, it says here in verse 29 of Isaiah 40. And it says here 30, even the youth, shall faint and be weary mm. when they run and all that i was young and then i was running <laughs> and uh, uh, i didn't faint but uh, i i heard i tramp in a in a hole a mole's mole's hole mm. and then i hurt my knee and i was right in front almost at the things and i had to like <laughs> walk to the yeah, limp to the to the winning i still win because i was right in front i was a very fast runner in my days mm -hmm. and i can say that uh, i they still gave me the uh, the, uh, the cup mm -hmm. in Afrikaans, Birker, <laughs> die Vren, Birker mm -hmm. and so on. the winning cup of of my uh, the race that i've run at school, in my school days and as i said uh, our school won that day you know, because if I have, uh, if I have sat down, because God renew your strength. And Amen. As said, even youth grow weary, they grow tired and they faint. And young men shall utterly fall, but God can renew us. Amen. It says here, those, but those that wait the, upon the Lord, Lord shall yeah. renew their Amen. strength. Amen. They shall mount up with wings mm. like eagle. They shall run and not be, be yes. weary. And they shall walk and not faint. This Amen. is what my husband has uh, 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 ministered to you now earlier mm -hmm. on, and he mentioned it. And I want to say that God's presence by His Holy Spirit yes. is always with us. Thank you, Jesus. It's no more us that live it, but mm -hmm. it is Christ living in and through us. Yes, He's thank you, living Jesus. inside us. Amen. And we are so glad to present Christ Jesus yes. every day of our life. Thank Hallelujah. You, Jesus. And it says here, right at the beginning, you uh, you don't have to turn to it. It's Genesis one thirty in the, mm. like, that talks about God. That it's a creator. Mm. God created the plants, everything. He created everything, the green herbs and the plants yes. for food. Amen. Because He created the uh, mm. um, all males and females. You know, we God is a creator of all nations, of every nation. Uh, uh, you know, and He mm. created them all in His likeness, mm. in His image. Some Bible says, and we are God's, uh, uh, you know, if, God, uh, if people look at you, they want to see the light of God mm. inside you. They want to see God's, uh, 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 what is the, the, the right word now? We want the, a lovely look mm. They want presence to see the God. presence of God. They want to see the light of God. Mm. They want to see uh, Jesus inside you. Amen. Because Jesus is alive inside Thank our you. heart. Thank you, Jesus. Man. And we are so glad just to present mm. Jesus yes. daily. Amen. We are glad to do that. Thank so you, uh, uh, Genesis 1 verse 30 says, God has given every green herb and plant for foods. Mm. I'm sure God has, has planted uh, Brussels plants and cucumbers and, and, in those days as well. Mm. And every dog, leafy, uh, 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 green uh, 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 vegetables as well. And the doctors of today, God has mm. given them the 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 wisdom yes. you know to find out when you mm. go to the doctor you know and then you say where you feel not so well mm. and then they can tell you exactly what is because they have learned and some doctors give good advice especially my doctors i could see because i told him that i'm a i don't have diabetic mm. i don't have high blood pressure or low blood pressure mm. because I, I i don't i don't allow those things to come upon mm. me you know, because it's uh, it's it 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 brings your stress. Right? It brings st your stress mm. level rise up, and that is what brought uh, uh, bring the, the unhealthy things into your life. Yes. And I want to say, uh, you know, you can yeah, fight your immune system if you today down and maybe uh, you need a little bit of of of, of uh, uh, don't run to a tablet. You feel uh, you got a headache. You know, a lot of people uh, uh, when they come to me, I say don't run to tablets. Mm run to the living waters that gives life mm. and uh, literally and i give them water i mm. said drink it and believe that jesus is a, 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 a you know the mm. water of life and the rivers of life yes because jesus bring life and he gives life mm. and then uh, uh, some of them that came here with a headache i pray it away and i say that headache is gonna go mm. now in the presence of god yes because i'm prayed up from the morning till uh, the ladies come here or, or uh, the people that I minister to and all that mm. and then I tell them 
enter mm. into the presence of God. Yes, amen. And receive from, you know, the Holy Spirit is here. Mm. In, you know, when, where I walked in a mm. house when they invite me to come and pray uh, for a, a, a certain, uh, 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 what is it, they know, the uh, brothers and sisters in Christ, their children were naughty. And then they come and they come to us and they call us and they ask me to come and pray there. Then I go, I'm, uh, you know, for the children that, mm. uh, that use drugs and all that. So then we, I, then they tell us what they're doing to their children. They let their children sleep outside and then uh, in the, the, the dark, you know, mm. right? and uh, the, the, the house of, the, of, of a dog is not quite big and they allow the do dog to sleep inside in his room. So they asked, so, he, uh, so I, uh, he, he said that he's wrong, you know, while I was there. And then I said to him, your mom and dad is right to say that the dog is more uh, uh, obedient than, than, than what you are. That is what they are saying. But, God, but I'm saying uh, in, the, in the sense, in the eyes of God, it is wrong. They should pray for you and I'm here to pray for you. And I pray and God delivered him from drugs. He never touched mm. drugs from that day onwards. I, I told him what he should eat. I said, whatever food your ma ma mama make, bread and, and that, mm. take that rather. But don't go for those things and mm. stop stealing your mommy and daddy's things and go sell it because that is what they do. They, they, they go into, uh, you know, whatever they can find, then they steal from their mommy and their daddy. Then I tell them, don't do that. Then you bring a curse into your life. Live a blessed life. As we have read mm. in Deuteronomy 28, mm. you can uh, read it there. You know, where the devil has come in one way, you will flee seven ways. And Amen. that day, he fled seven ways when I prayed for this young man. And he is today is delivered and set free. And we praise God for that. And we thank God for it because God is a healer. Amen. Amen. So there is many ways to fight uh, uh, your, your immune system. Because sometimes my body also needs uh, 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 food and I realized, oh, I didn't eat lunch yet and that mm. and then I said to my husband, let, I, let, uh, let me make us a quick lunch when we were busy with our ministry work mm. or we were busy ministering to others and that, yes. then uh, God tell us, Thank go you, and uh, uh, go and make disciples of all nations and uh, then we first obey God doing that and uh, telling them to serve the Lord mm. in spirit and in truth and this is what that young man is doing. And, but you must eat. It is important to eat mm. your three meals unless God called you to fast. Mm. If you fast, that yes. is fine. And that, but uh, uh, trusting God in it. And uh, uh, you know, it is so good to share with you that Amen. we know that there is health, mm. in, in, uh, health and wellness and wholeness. Yes. Because Jesus restores. Yes. As He heals, He's, He restores mm. you. And the same miracles can happen today. Mm. I have seen it in my life. I've prayed for many. My husband was with, and God has healed them when I lay, when we both lay hands on mm. them and we pray. Remember that mm. man that was uh, uh, his back, and uh, uh, when we went, uh, we came at the right time. Mm. And he was the ambulance came, and the the, the, the wife gave up hope, but the, his mother was still praying when we came there. And when we enter into that room, I, I, I see he's still breathing. Mm. And I said to my husband, he's still breathing, he's alive, he's not dead. And we started to pray life over mm. him. We started to pray, can you remember? Eh? And we, we started to pray life. My husband thank you, took his hand, we didn't worry with uh, oil and all that because we know it's a power of God that touched. Amen. And then the Lord told me, call him back because he's busy dying. And, that, and mm. I, can you remember, can I said in the name of Jesus and I call him on his name and I said, I call you back in the name of Jesus Christ. And the next minute I was like, and my husband was sitting there next to him on the chair and I was at the end of the bed and as I called him back, as I stand there at the end of the bed, I called him back and the Lord has, has, has brought him back. Amen. The Lord has, has brought him back. He was like jumping up. Mm. And I said, oh Lord, thank you. I wished out. And the mm. mother and the wife was jumping there up and down, praising the Lord and myself with them, thanking the Lord for, 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 for healing this man. And then we led him to the Lord Jesus Christ. My husband led him mm. to, to the Lord Jesus Christ and said that there's, there's everlasting life in mm. Christ. And he must just repent because Jesus has, and he didn't even know, he was in a very, very deep coma and mm. he was going to go out. Mm. He was going to die. And that was 
all of the diabetic mm. and what else, uh, uh, high blood pressure mm. and whatever. Yes. But we prayed healing and God healing from Amen. that moment of onwards. And we thank God for those Amen. miracles that happened. Amen. And uh, as I said, it, there's many biblical truths and promises related to your wellness mm. and to your health. Mm. And it's not us that do the, 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 the healing, it is the Lord Jesus. Yes. All glory Amen. and honor and praise. We just a, a willing, a, a, willing mm. a, a, a willing vessel, mm. you know, going where God is calling mm. us. And when people phone us, then we go yes. and then we pray for them. And th Amen. that is just a few that we can mention mm. this day. And we wanted to say that God uh, uh, s uh, says in his word that he is the one uh, that is a healer. Mm. And Jesus said here, come to me all of you who are weary yes. and heavy burden yes. and I will give you rest. Yes. Take my yoke upon him, let mm. me teach you because I am humble mm. and gentle at heart and you will find rest for your soul. There's many that we went also that wasn't so right in their mind and all that. So we went in and we, we read this to, the, to them and then we, we, we told the people that, you know, uh, your, that, that is one of the things that Satan likes mm. to attack, is uh, uh, your, your mind mm. and all that. We're living in the days, as we've, uh, what we're facing now, that we see all the kids is on the, mm -hmm. the children and the kids, they are on the, mm. uh, uh, the laptop and, the, and uh, not the laptop, the tablets, internet, the phones. tablets, phones and mm. all that. And they don't even, when you talk to them, even our own grandson, we had to, to call him mm. thrice before he, he look up because he <laughs> likes the, the, the little kid games mm. and all that. And we, the children games, and we were always watchful over them because we tell, teach them from a young age. Mm. Uh, the youngest is now, uh, uh, he's three years old, eh? and he also loves a lot of the games, but he's very playful. But our little one that, that it was that grew up here, He's, he's got close to us because our other children, mm. living, grandchildren are living far from us. And then I want to say, then mm. they listen. Mm. Then we say, don't watch this thing because Satan is playing with your mind. And then mm. we tell them, you must tell the child that yes. the word from the say that you must train up a child in, in which way they should go. Amen. And they will never depart from it. Yes. It is important. You know, you must uh, teach him the word of God. And the fear of the Lord, and also to love the Lord, and the look, and tell them that the Lord loves you. Amen. And we want to say that, don't be a, 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 you know, as I've read from you now, Matthew 11, 28 to 29, you know that God wants us to be humble and gentle. But it says here in in uh, uh, Psalms, the eyes of all look to you in hope. You will give them their food as they, as they need it. Yes. When you open your hand, you satisfy the hunger mm -hmm. and the thirst of every living thing. That yes. is the Lord. God is Amen. the provider. God gives provision to all that is hungry and thirsty spiritually and also naturally. Yes. In other words, in the natural, the foods mm -hmm. and that, he will, uh, 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 he will supply. Mm -hmm. Because we have seen how God has supplied all our needs. And we have also young those that doesn't have the poor and the needy. Then when they come here, we give them food and we tell them, we'll pray for you for a work because there's a lot of people that are uh, mm. parents that are jobless and they don't yes. work and they are hungry. Then we feed them, but mm. we also feed them with the word of God. We also tell them, it's an opening for us to tell them about the Lord Jesus Christ, the soon coming King of Kings and yes. Lord of all. And then it says here, don't be impressed with your own, with your own wisdom. Instead, fear the Lord and turn back, uh, back on all evil. Then you'll gain renewed health and vitality. Mm. You know, in other words, yes. your, your immune strength. system when you, and your strength that you, mm. I mean, your immune system will be strengthened yes. in Christ. Spiritually, you mm. will be strengthened. But you can't be strengthened when you do your own thing. You will, uh, uh, I mean, I have done exercises all my mm. life. Uh, now I do stretches mostly and a little bit of exercise when it's needed. But I, I believe in my, uh, doing exercise. Even a little one is doing exercise. But I'm telling you, uh, the best way mm. to exercise your faith is mm. in Christ. Amen. Yeah, it's about the faith, you know, mm. in, in Christ Jesus. And then the word of God in Isaiah 55 says, Is anyone thirsty? Come and drink even with no money. Take your choice of wine or milk it's all free but i want to say even if it says here in the bible of wine i want to say if you over drink you are killing your innermost uh, 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 
beings, like mm. the uh, liver. The liver, yes. Yeah. Because we know of our own family that died at an early age because of alcoholic. Mm. You know, that, that is, uh, uh, you know, they, they became alcoholic, they overdrink themselves. You know, uh, the Word of God didn't say that you must overdrink yourself mm. when you're having parties or, or having uh, celebrations or whatever. It doesn't say here at all, no. It says if anyone is not come and drink even if you have no money. You know, take your choice of wine or milk, it's all free. Why spend your money on food that does not give you strength? Because if you drink the wine, mm. you know, uh, we have many that come here for prayer, they're bringing their, 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 their parents here, or they're bringing or, or their children here for prayer, and then they come up here, we're living, you have to come up with the stairs, and then they can't even, the children have to help their, their uh, dad, or the dad have to help their children, bringing them up here, that we were praying mm. for, or the mother, that bringing their children here. And we want to say today, that Jesus is, the healer. Amen. He can set you free. Yes. He's the one that, that gives deliverance. Amen. He's the only one that can give deliverance. Yes. Thank not, you, Jesus. Not, uh, doctors can't give you mm. deliverance. No. Doctors can tell you, uh, uh, warn you to stay away from it because that is what the doctors told mm. these youngsters as well and yes. family members of us. Yes. We wanted to tell you don't over drink. The rather the, uh, the, uh, drink healthy things. Amen. Eat healthy things. Yes. And your mother's food is in, mm -hmm. uh, I'm sure every mother, my mm -hmm. mother was an excellent cook. My husband's mm -hmm. mother was an excellent cook. And it, it, we enjoyed it. Amen. It's wonderful. It was nice food. Amen. And we enjoyed every bit Amen. of it. And we want to say to you, to enjoy every food Amen. that your mother is making. <laughs> but the food of life, the bread of life yes. is, is our Lord Jesus Thank Christ. Thank you, Jesus. And, uh, uh, it says here, why spend your money on that and why pay for food that does no good? And I say, if you eat uh, like luxury food, a lot of chocolates and all that, it can, a lot of sugary mm. food and that is fine yes. to have a cake now and then, or a little bit of ice cream and that, but not overdoing mm. it in your life. Amen? Amen. So uh, uh, listen and I will tell you where the, to, to get food that it is good for the soul. Amen. As it says in Isaiah 55, 1 to 2 that I've read for you, to you now. It is important to be in the presence of God. We have come to a close and we are thankful that yes. we could encourage you. The word yes. of God says, and I want to end with this, uh, Proverbs 17, 22. A cheerful heart does not like medicine, but a broken, broken spirit makes one sick. Mm. You know, and uh, this is what I've explained to you and what Isaiah 55, 1 to 2 have said. And I want to say that don't allow uh, um, Satan, you know, to with your friends, because there's a lot of friends that can influence you. Come drink with me, come do this, come party with me, you know, and on all that. You know, and that can, can that mm. party, uh, I used to say to the students at once, uh, a year, that you've got a party spirit, and then he tells me, a uh, uh, party, yes, but spirit, no, I don't ask party spirit at all, and then we used to laugh about it. But we want to say, stay in the presence of God. Know that He is the mm. one that gives everlasting life. Amen. He's a giver of life. Yes. And, and uh, surrender your life to Him. Amen. Yes, amen. And you will see how the changes will come into your own private life, mm. into your family home as well. Mm. Your mother and father will, will, will smile because their son is walking now or their daughter is walking now the, the, the life in Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. And God bless you. Bless we will you. be back with more precious news about the word power of God on healing. God Amen. bless you. God bless you. Till the next time. Bye. Bye-bye.